Hi, I'm Damien Wills, Chief Pilot and Owner of GoFly Aviation, and welcome to this week's GoFly Quick Tip. Today we're going to be looking at the turn back. So when is it appropriate to turn back towards the opposite runway you've, turned, you've taken off from if your engine fails just after takeoff? We don't want to turn back too early because we know that if we turn back too early, uh, there's a chance we might stall the aircraft or may not make the runway. So a safer option would be to land straight ahead. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the aircraft's capability. So what we're going to do is look at that in the air today with our student pilot, Will. Let's go flying. Okay, so we're passing through 2,000 feet now. We're going to use 2,000 feet as our base, which is our ground level. We're going to simulate and pretend that 2,000 feet is our runway height, and we've just taken off at 70 knots, okay? All right. So keep climbing at 70 knots, just like you would take off. I'm going to introduce a bit of flap now, which is what we'd use for our first 300 feet. Uh, just to keep the simulation as real as possible. Uh, and when I... Well, first of all, retract flap. So retract the flap like you would normally at, at 300 feet, yep. So what I'm going to do in a second is pull the power and simulate an engine failure. And what I want you to do is do a nice, obviously lower the nose to maintain 70 knots. Yep. and do a nice genial turn back to the left for me right. at 70 knots, 180 degrees back the other way. And we're going to see how much height we lose, okay? Alright. So we're at 2,500 feet now, watch your hand, hand out of the way. And engine failure. Quick, adopt best glide speed, start turning back towards the field at 70 knots. Yeah, well, look down, that's all good. Keep it at 70 knots. Yep, get that turn back happening, 70 knots. Yep, keep lowering that nose. Keep turning, keep turning, 70 knots. And about there. Okay, so how much height do you think we've lost? 300 feet. Yeah, look, three to 400, so it's about 350. Okay, right. let's say 400. But you've got to remember, I've got control. Yep. That when we take off, we usually have more wind and turbulence down low. Yep. Okay, uh, and we also have that, oh my God factor, I call it. So when the engine fails, you might not be as res quite as responsive as you were at height, okay? So we need to add a bit of buffer. So we can say safely that we definitely lose around 400 feet. Right. Okay, so we want to say, okay, let's add a bit of buffer to that, at least 10 to 20% buffer. So I would say right. you will not turn back towards the field unless you've got 500 foot of um, clearance underneath you in the ground, okay? Right. So we know that the minimum on this aircraft is 500 feet, and that's in nil wind. Okay, right. that can change depending on what the wind is. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go and test that um, theory. So we're right. going to head back towards the airport now and we're going to use runway 05 and we're going to have an engine failure. Uh, our terrain there is around about 80 feet off the end of 05. So we'll right. add 80 feet to 500 feet, so 580 feet and see if you can make it back towards the runway. All right. Okay Will, so we're now on runway, uh, just taking off the run runway 05, you just retracted the flaps. Yep. We've discussed the turn back. Yep. And we know that our minimum turn back height for this runway is 600 feet. We've got about five knots of tailwind if you land on runway. Um, yeah, Back on runway 23. Yep. 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 Seventy knots. Watch your airspeed. Keep going. 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 Seventy knots. You get too high in airspeed. Seventy knots. Yeah, well, Lima, we're just concerning, uh, conducting a PFL turn back. Uh, we'll maintain uh, separation from you. Hello, uh, Paul. Lima, copy. So seventy. Uh, yep. So we can see there, we would make the runway just. Very just. Okay, you can get the flaps. Okay, and I've got control, we're going to go around the right. right hand side to maintain separation from the other aircraft. Right. Okay, Will, so now you can see that the importance of knowing your aircraft's capabilities. Yep. So we can see there that we, could, we would just make the airfield if we had an engine failure at 600 feet on runway 05 at Caloundra. Okay, so from now on you know that if my engine fails below that height, you will not turn back under any circumstance. Yep. You will land straight ahead up to 20 degrees in the side of the nose. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for joining me for today's Go Flight Quick Tip. Hope you understand now that when it's acceptable to turn back, and the first thing is to know your aircraft's capabilities, 
and to make sure that you know exactly where that wind's coming from and determine your own minimum minimum um, safe height of when it's safe to turn back towards that opposite runway if your engine fails just after takeoff. Once again, thank you and see you for next week's Go Fly Quick Tip.